Under general anesthesia, the patient is placed in a modified beach chair position and the arm is placed into a pneumatic arm holder. An anterior inferior portal is made which will be the primary working portal for the anterior labral repair. Using a spinal needle, an anterior superior portal is created using an outside-in technique. This portal will allow for suture management during the anterior labral repair and visualization of the Hillsac's lesion during the remplissage. The Hillsac's lesion is debrided back to a good bed of bone without expanding the lesion. First with a shaver, then with an arthroscopic rasp. Special care is taken to remove only the sclerotic layer of the lesion so that there will be good purchase for the suture anchors. The surface of the entire posterior and inferior capsule is gently debrided with a whisker blade in order to prepare the posterior capsule for healing into the hill sac's lesion. While maintaining the camera in the anterior superior portal, the posterior cannula is removed from the glenohumeral joint but is left in the subacromial space. In order to aid in anchor placement, the arm is positioned in slight abduction and neutral rotation. The trocar tipped guide wire for the helix transtend anchor is inserted through the posterior cannula, infraspinatus tendon, and posterior capsule and into the inferior aspect of the hill sac's lesion, abutting the articular margin. The 4 mm cannula and obturator assembly are placed over the guide wire. Next, removing the guide wire and obturator, the surgeon leaves only the 4 mm cannula through the infraspinatus tendon and posterior joint capsule. The awl and helix transtend anchor are then placed through the cannula. With the sutures exiting the posterior cannula, this sequence of steps is repeated to place a second helix transtend anchor at the superior aspect of the hill sac's lesion next to the articular margin. Once the anchors are placed, the anterior inferior capsular labral repair is completed by tying the sutures. For the remplissage, a double pulley technique is employed. One suture limb from the superior anchor is tied to a corresponding suture limb of the inferior suture anchor. This is repeated for the remaining two limbs so that a suture bridge is formed between the two anchors which allows for compression of the infraspinatus tendon into the hill sac's lesion. Final intraarticular and subacromial views confirm the completed repair. It can be seen that the combination of the anterior labral repair and remplissage have nicely centered the humeral head against the glenoid.